guys and welcome back to Courtney D. Connolly's Game of Life in Ruby. In the previous video we have randomly populated the gaming world and, and began a game and now let us uh, color those cells of ours. Okay, So right here in the draw method after we draw a background we should uh, draw these cells and the way we do that is we should uh, iterate through each and every cell, so we do that by at game dot world dot cells dot each do, and we pass it in as cell, and let's end it here. Mm, and we are going to color alive cells in a different uh, color than we are going to do for dead cells. So we are going to write if our cell is alive, color it in one color and else color it differently. Okay, um, so let us think about how we're going to uh, draw these cells. We're going to draw them with the same method we draw, drew our background which is draw quad and then we're going to provide the coordinates for each of the four point of a specific cell and to, to sort of figure out how to how to draw these cells and find their common formula to write them. Let's jump into our trusty sketch here and see what we can conclude from this. So we have a bunch of cells, some of our some are alive and some are dead. And let us first think about how we can describe these first uh, the top uh, left point of each and every cell. So the top left point, which is going to be our beginning point for drawing our quad, f from cell from this cell is this point, from this cell is this point, from this cell is this point, and so on. We get the x coordinate of top left point of each and every cell by multiplying the x coordinate of that cell with the width of a column that you see here. And let us just just see how, how that works. So the x coordinate of this cell is 0. And when 0 is mu multiplied by this column width, it is still 0. So the x coordinate of this point is 0. The x coordinate of this cell is 1. And when 1 is multiplied with column width, you get this point, because you move um, for the distance of 1 times column width, which is, you end up here. For this cell, the x coordinate is 2, and you move 2 times the column width, and you end up here. So we get the picture here. So we're going to tr uh, write that in our draw quad thingy. So as we said, we get it by multiplying the x coordinate with the column width. And for this, we're going to introduce a new variable. Let us call it column width. And let's take a small, small detour uh, to, to define that variable up here within the game itself and below this calls and and rows. Okay, so our column width is going to equal with divided by number of columns. Okay, and since we are already up here, and we are going to need the the row height for uh, calculating the y uh, coordinate, let us define immediately the row height. Uh, the row height is going to correspond to height divided by the number of rows. Okay, let's separate this. So we kind of get it, get it more, more, more in order. And now we have our x point of our, of our first point, our top left point of each and every cell. Let us see how we can get the y coordinate of each and every cell. So if you look at our first row of cells here, the y coordinates of each and every one of them is zero. Okay, so let us observe this column, this vertical, vertically aligned uh, cells, to to figure out how we are going to uh, get the y coordinates of uh, these top left. 
points of each and every cell. So we get them by multiplying the y coordinate of that point with the row height. And we're going to see it, that in a moment. So a, a, a y um, coordinate of this point is 0. And we get that by multiplying the y coordinate of this cell, which is 0, with the row height, which is still 0. Okay? The y coordinate of this cell is 1. And we get the y coordinate of this point right here by multiplying the y coordinate of this cell, which is 1, with the row height. As you can see here, we end up here. Uh, the y coordinate of this point here is given uh, by multiplying the y coordinate of this cell, which is 2, with the row height. So 1, 2, and we end up here. So similarly to what we had with the x coordinate, uh, you see here with the y coordinate. So cell y multiplied with the row height, we get the y coordinate of our top left point. And now we have to just specify the, the color for alive cells. So we're just going to call alive color. We're just going to quickly add that color here in our initialize. Alive color equals go to color new. Um, let's think about we're going to give it give it one to one to one to okay. Um, so this is it for for our first cor coordinate. And now, since the process for for fig figuring out these uh, s coordinates of each and every point of each and every uh, cell square is kind of kind of boring. Uh, I will leave that up to you as a small exercise for the next video. As before, as with exercises we've had in the past, I will re reveal the code for you, the correct code in the following video, but hopefully you will have enough energy after all these videos uh, to try to implement this yourself and really figure out how these uh, coordinates are or extracted if you haven't already so so please please I'm begging you uh, take this exercise uh, seriously and and try to implement it yourself but anywho in the next video we're going to reveal the code uh, for uh, for drawing this quad for alive cells and the same for drawing the, the quads uh, for the dead cells and then Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to finish our game of life, which is awesomely exciting. So see you guys in the next video.